Hi guys, for today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do your cheer makeup. Yay! First, I'm going to start ouch, by brushing my hair and then putting some clips in it just to get my bangs out of the way. out of the way we're going to take our primer and we're going to just rub it all over our face i use tatcha water cream but you can use really any primer and we're going to put it all over our face and just a little dab on our eyelids just like this just to like use as a eyeshadow primer just in case you don't have one this works just as well just make sure you don't put on a lot or else like you'll have a really big crease so okay so first we're gonna do our eyeshadow just in case we have fallout we don't want it all over our nicely done face makeup so we're gonna start i don't have the black that came with the sheer makeup but we're gonna start with a fluffy brush with our black that you that you get you're just gonna dab in you're going to take the excess off so hopefully it doesn't get on your face. And then you're just going to nicely put it in your outer corner in a little V. Just in the outer corner to about the middle. You can go a little past the middle because the white that we're putting on will take away some of the black. So you just want it nice up into this outer corner and then down to your lash line. You want to get it in there. You want to make it fairly dark. Just so you can, it's not like gray. So that it's actually black. So we're going to take the black. Make that nice V. And see, it's a little over. But the rest is quite dark. It's a little over on the crease. But this looks about good. You don't want it like a e like you don't want a straight line. You want to have like a little more on the top, just so you can really see it when you shut your eyes. See, and I only go so when I shut, I only go where you can see it. So you don't really want to go over. You can. It doesn't look bad, but it helps to just stay there. Okay, now that I got my black all done, this is what it looks like closed. It's sloppy, but that's okay because you're going to take the white that does the edges. See, it just goes out a little bit and a little V. And then you're going to take your white, like the paste one, this little guy. You're going to open it. If I could open it. You're going to take the brush it comes with works really good. Or you can take like a, a brush that already has liquid on it, a fairly flat brush that's made for concealer or like lipstick or whatever you like you're gonna put a fair amount on your brush and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna put it just in your inner corner and to about the black you can go over the black if you want but I like to have more black on my eyes than white so I'm gonna get that on there take it to the middle I put it all the way down. I can also see it looks a little funky, just the white right now. But you just want to follow that crease that you have. And then you want to bring it down into the middle of your eye. I mean the <laughs> inner corner of your eye. You're going to put it just in the middle, just like that. And then once you have this on, you're going to quickly, while it's still wet, you're going to take your white powder. Don't don't push it down too much or else you're going to have a huge explosion when it comes out. You're going to take a fairly fluffy brush and you're going to dab just like this. You're just going to dab the one side in. You're going to tap it off, like not very hard, so you still have stuff on it. But you're going to tap off some of the excess, like the excess, and then you're going to start with the out and you're just going to dab it onto the white. See, when I dabbed it out before I put it on, I had 
little to no fallout underneath my eye or on my eyelashes. So make sure you give it a pretty good dab. But you're still getting the glitter on. You're gonna do that all the way until your white is covered with the glitter. Um, Make sure when you're also dabbing the glitter, I mean, when you're putting the glitter on, you wanna dab it in. You don't wanna swipe it or else none of your glitter will stick on. So that's what the one eye looks like with the silver. I covered up a little bit of black, but it's about half and half. I could add, I'm just gonna go in actually, and I'm gonna add my black, just a little bit on the top, just to kind of blur the line so it's not like half and half. Just blur it a little bit, but it makes it in a little more. See, and now it's not just half and half. I'm getting the color on both sides. If I bring it closer, you can see where it's black and where it's your glitter. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do that with the other eye. I'm gonna take my white paste. I'm gonna put it all the way to the inner corner along my crease to the black. Just like this. Very lightly, you don't need to stab it in there, it'll stick on. And then, while it's still wet, I'm gonna get my powder. Oops, that's the wrong brush. <laughs> and I'm gonna dab it in there, tap off the, tap off quite a bit of the silver. I'm just gonna dab it on there. You can dab the whole thing, your glitter will come on. But you're gonna do it quite a few times just to get the glitter to stick and get it all over your eye. And once again, if you have like a little mistake, see there's like a little more black on this one. I could take it away with just my finger. If it, if you have the primer on, if not, you could take a Q-tip and you can just fix it up. Fix up your inner corner or underneath. But I had no glitter fallout because if you dab it off, it doesn't really come on. There's a little on my eyelash, but other than that, you should have no fallout if you dab your glitter off like your loose powder, so. Okay, our next step is going to be to add some foundation. Obviously, if you have really, really little girls, you don't need to add foundation, but I have some redness and some acne coming out, so I'm just going to put a little bit on. I'm going to take like a couple pumps, use my beauty blender, I'm going to dab in my hand, and just dab the foundation in to get my skin nice and even. And I'm really going to go under my eye, just so, just in case I miss some eyeshadow that fell out. And then, yes. I'm going to put a little bit on top, right in there, by my eyebrow, and in the in inside, just so you have a nice even tone from your forehead. And your cheek and your eye, you all have the same color. Just so when you, if you do put foundation on, it's not just it's not just um, one weird color right here. So okay, so now that I have my foundation on, I'm just gonna add some concealer. I recommend this for like every age, just to brighten up your under eyes and get a little just a little brightness onto your face. Instead of just having your clear skin, so I'm just going to do a few under the eye just to brighten it. I also have dark circles because I'm an old woman. So I'm going to add some underneath. And then I'm going to add a bit to my forehead. Just a nice little, like, tree. I'm going to add it to my pimple because that's gross. And then I'm going to add it down here onto my pimples, but also I'm going to add it in another little tree. Just right in that crease on your chin. A little bit down the bridge of your nose. I recommend all kids use concealer just because it does brighten 
your skin a lot and it also makes it easier and it like a little less dramatic with your eyes if you have some other makeup on your face and it makes it easier it gives you a nice base for your blush or if you're gonna put on some bronzer or if you're gonna highlight it gives you a really nice base of what you want so when you put it under your eye you're gonna get underneath this may be hard on kids but just make them look all the way up or even you could put it a little lower like even here and if they just have their eyes closed and you can bring it up into there while their eyes are closed just like this bring it as far up as you can but obviously if you're doing it on yourself you can you know you can bring it all the way to your eye um you're just gonna dab all the concealer and you don't want to you don't want to wipe or else it's just going to wipe off your concealer. You want to just dab all of it in there. So I'm going to dab it all the way down my nose just like this. I don't want it to come off. See already I'm brighter right here, right here, right here than these parts of my face. Even right here. You can't really see with this lighting but right here is brighter than over here and over here. And just like when I blend this out. It's gonna be brighter. With chin concealer, you want them to put their lip like this. So it blends into that crease, so it's a little less visible. See, my concealer has made this part brighter where the light hits. You want it you wanna go where the light hits. So the light's gonna hit here, here. Here, when I have my chin up, obviously. So when they're looking out into the crowd, you can really see like the bright faces, the br <laughs> the bright parts of their faces, and it really just makes the makeup look a little bit better, a little bit brighter. If you have a harsh edge with your concealer, just blend it down. Blend it into your foundation or just into the skin a little bit all over just so you get it all in there and your skin looks even next step is gonna be translucent powder you don't have to use translucent powder if you don't feel like it i use it because my skin becomes like greasier when i wear this makeup all day just because running around the comp or even when i sweat so i just take a few dabs of my translucent powder on my beauty blender and i blend under the eye and down i put it all over my face you don't have to do that. Most people just like put it under their eye. But I like to put it all on my face just so, again, my skin has a nice even color. And translucent powder really brightens up your concealer. And really, it just mattes everything. So everything is like longer lasting. I like to put some on my chin. And then we're going to put some on top of our forehead just because when you sweat, you don't want to just look like a huge grease ball. So this just helps it matte a little bit better. See, I don't like even already, like I don't look as greasy. Also, another tip is you can take your sponge or whatever you used to put on your makeup and put it on your ear. Obviously, you don't wear earrings on the mat. But if you put it on your ear, maybe you used your wrong color. So just put some on your ear. Make your ear the same color as your face so you don't have like that line. Especially when your hair is up. So you can see the just the tone goes the same way. Because you can't hide your ears when your hair is in ponytail. So you just put some on your ear. Next we're going to do some bronzer. You don't have to do bronzer. I just do bronzer because it gives me like a nice shadow and really carves out the bright parts of my face. So first, I'm gonna start with just, just any fluffy brush that you would use for bronzer. bronzer. And then you're gonna dab out the excess. You're gonna go like this. And just put it right there. Into there. You're gonna dab on the first bit of product. You're gonna add some more. And then you're gonna do that again. And you're gonna do circular motions with your extra product just to create that shadow right there to make your face look skinnier. See, this side just looks better. I just look, I have a lot more color than this side. There's nothing. 
So you just want to blend it out. You don't want it to be too brown. So you're just going to blend it out. I do wear a lot of bronzer, so if you ever see me, don't judge me. I like bronzer, but it's really easy to apply. You just dab it in there. You don't have to use a lot. It's just really to get the dimensions of your face to really come out. Your circular motions just to mix it in there and then on this so you put it underneath your neck to blend the tone I don't add any more product I just take what's on there and I go around my neck and underneath like this um you can see right here my, my bronzer is a little far down so I'm just gonna take what I had with my foundation and go like this and just create that line and come back so I don't have a huge brown spot going all the way down to my chin. And if you put on too much bronzer, take your beauty blender with your product, like just whatever was left on it, and you can go like this and it'll take some of it off. So I'm not gonna put on a lot of bronzer, but the next step I would do if I was putting on bronzer would be, uh oh would be to the next step part I would do is to take it and you're just gonna make a little circular motions from right here on your forehead to down where that was onto this so your whole all your brown connects so people call it the three so you go here here that's really helpful. That's where sh like your shadows on your face are. So it helps brighten it. See, this side looks way better than this side. Even just with that little bit on the top of my head. So I'm going to keep that there. I'm just going to do the other side quick. You don't need to add a lot of product. Just a fair amount. I'm going to get that circular motion all the way down to where I started. And then if you start too far apart... You're gonna add just a little bit right at the top of your head. Like don't go put it like straight there. Just a little bit right up there to blend the two sides together. Just so you don't have like a line and a line of where it started. So I'm gonna do that with the circular. Now you can always add more bronzer if you want. I have quite a bit on. You don't need to add bronzer. Just do it to add a little bit of dimension and then also, I don't nose contour. I just take the bronzer and I go down the sides of my nose just to really make the concealer on my nose pop. So just down the sides. Not a lot either. You don't want a brown nose. You just want a little bit down both sides. See? Just that little shadow. You can see it like that. You want this to be bright and this to be dark. Okay, so our next step would be blush. This is a good step if you don't wear bronzer, especially for the little kids. You add just a little bit. You're going to make them smile. And you're going to take this little apple you see, and you're going to put it on there. You're going to bring it in just to the side. You want most of it to be here. Right there, you're going to dab it on and then bring it in. It's lighter over here just because this is where you smile, so that's where you want your blush to be. Same for the other side. You're gonna smile, put the blush there, and you're gonna bring it out to the edge. If you're wearing bronzer, it mixes quite in quite well in with your bronzer here. So I'm gonna start there, put it into your bronzer. Use your nice rosy cheeks. And then our next step, my favorite step, is highlighter so you're going to take your highlighter and you're going to put it right where there's no bronzer or blush you see that little beam of light right there that's where you're going to put it it's just going to bring out and sparkle a little bit more see you can already see this side is brighter than this one just because of that extra highlighter and when i turn to the side you can really just see it pop, or when you're in the light on stage, you just really see your highlighter pop, which is really good. 
if you don't wear bronzer or blush, highlighter for little kids is still really good. It adds a little bit extra, makes them sparkle a little more. Um, I put some on my nose, just down the bridge, and then in like that. And I'm going to put some all above my lip. Because it, since you have to wear lipstick, if you put it above your lip, it adds that little extra shine when you put it on. Because I have really small lips, so it adds a little bit extra. You don't need to add highlighter, but just with this light, you can even just see it a lot it just makes you shine a little more i really like highlighter and on your nose your little schnoz and you can put it like this too just to get the ball a little bit brighter than your bridge so you want the bridge to be skinny where you put your highlighter and then right where it gets a little fat like that little ball you feel you just put put some highlighter on there the last step i do is my eyebrows Obviously, the little kids do not need to do their eyebrows. They're children. And the only reason I do my eyebrows is because they're a little uneven. You can just see this one is a little less exciting than this one. So I like to fill them in. If you do fill them in for your little kids, make sure they look really natural. Just because they barely have any makeup on. So you don't need to just do eyebrows to make it really dramatic. You just follow their natural line of hair just fill it in i'm barely filling mine in go to the front and just take some natural like hair brush strokes up just to give it a little more just give it a little more hair even though there might not be hair there just follow the natural shape though of your eye you don't want huge eyebrows like mine used to be I'm gonna follow the natural line. And then on this one, you'd follow the same natural line. Even if there's hair on the bottom, you wanna follow where the most hair is. So I always grow hairs like here, and you just follow the natural line where most of your hair grows, so yeah. Okay, now that you have the base of your face all done, you can go back and if you messed it up a little bit, take your brush and just again, Make sure you tap a lot of it off, especially now that you have your base makeup on. You can fix your V if you mess it up a little bit on both sides. And then this would be the time to add bottom mascara if you want to make the eyes open a little more. I don't put any mascara on, but I have fake eyelashes. So you want to do your mascara up and you can do your bottom lash line just a little bit. So your next step would to be on to be to put on your team's lipstick color so if you're on um, the younger teams you have the bright pink but my team I have this nice dark pink it's not pink it's like purple I'm gonna start with just taking a line I put on very little product I like so I dip it and then I take off that little goop that's at the that product that was at the end just so I get a nice like flat not like discolored because this one you if you don't put it on evenly it gives you two different colors so you want to take most of the product off when you're first lining it so you want to start from the outside go to that little dot you made just your natural lip line And then all that dark, if I just go like this, it all spreads. And then we're going to do the next side. Okay, now that we got our bottom, it's all even. There's a little bump there, but our color is really even. 
Just a little right there. But you can always fix that. So that's how you do the bottom. And then with your top, you want to start with doing the little bows. You don't want to go all the way up. You just want to follow the white of it. I mean, not the white, the pink of your lip. You don't want to go all the way up and make like two devil horns. You just want to follow the nice natural rounded part. So right there. And right there. And then we're gonna follow down first. We can take it up. Go from that corner. All the way up. See, you don't want like really stabby. You just want to take it nice, round it out a little bit, spread out your color all the round side. There you go. And then same thing with the other side. It's easier if you do it one side at a time instead of just wiping it all on there. So again, start with the one side. Take it to the bow. Spread out your color. Okay, now that I got all this on here, I see it's really light especially for this color that it is. So, you're gonna put it together. Now, now, you wanna do the kiss? Can you do it there? So the kiss, you can see I have a little bit, obviously the wet part is gonna be like pink, like the inside of my mouth, but you want this, your little wrinkles in your lips, you wanna keep that, you wanna have that your lipstick color. So I'm gonna take it, take one more dip, Put a little more product on it this time and just follow the lines that I already made. Just make it a little bit darker. See, it just darkened it a little bit more. And then if you think you got it on the inside of your mouth, just take your finger. Got all the makeup off, so it's not gonna get on my teeth. Now I'm not worried. Okay, so then obviously your next step, hair up. It makes your, so once I do my makeup first, because when I put my hair up, I just feel like it all sucks in. <laughs> all my fat on my face just, sucks up into my ponytail so I could do my ponytail after and this is my finished look it's nice it's a little bit crazy because I really like doing makeup but this is a pretty easy tutorial if you don't understand anything or have any questions just comment and me or Leslie will answer them or if you had a question look what I used or just a different technique that I maybe didn't put in the video. Just ask or message me or Miss Leslie if you would like to know. Bye.